Hi, Lisa Bob from Scrappy Mania, and today I want to do a different kind of video. It's a product review. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this product review is because I saw this movie, or actually my husband and I saw this movie, Fat, Sick, and Newly Dead, and actually my husband saw it before me, and this inspired him to go on a juicing di fast diet. So at the beginning, he was, um, he started using this machine. Let me go ahead and go over the different machines and what each one does. Now this is the first machine we ever got for juicing or for making. Our, we, we switch our blender to this one and it's about 20 years ago. And this one is the Vitamix. It's a very powerful motor. It lasts forever and it does a great job with making smoothie, making drinks and for a blender overall. It does do a good job on juicing, is the only thing is you're going to retain a lot of the pulp. And if you want a nice smooth juice, sometimes that pulp gets in the way of you enjoying the juice. So we also got this other one, the Nutribullet. We just purchased this one because even though this is very powerful and it works great, sometimes it's a pain to clean. It's not as easy to clean. And I wanted another type of juice, juicer or blender where I can put a couple of fruits, some ice, and quickly make a smoothie in the morning to take it to work. And plus, because my husband is doing the juicing diet, this was easy to clean. You can just throw the stuff in there and take it to go. And this one had a handle, and I purchased this one at QB, uh, HSN, and it, it was a good, it had a good price on it on this one. And then this one is one that we purchased. This is the Jacqueline Power Juicer. This one we purchased about um, six years ago. And it's very good juicer, except that what we were finding for harder fruit, it, it was starting to smoke or smell like smoke. And you can really hear it slow down. Every time you put a harder juice in there, it was slowing down. Now, it had no problem with juicing apples and soft fruit, but with the harder fruit, it was having trouble, and plus it was starting to smoke, smell like smoke. And since my husband was doing it three to four times a day, he was juicing a large quantity of fruits and vegetables, we felt that it was time for us to get a new juicer, because this was kind of old, so we're going to be donating this one to Salvation Army because it's still pretty good. It's just it's not good enough what, if you are planning to do this type of uh, fast juicing. It won't hold up to the wear and tear of daily juicing. Now, let's go to this one before I, I talk about this one. This one was the one that inspired us. This is the one we bought. It was from, this is the one that Joe Cross was using. He actually used the lower model of this one. It was still has two speed, so it has a, a, a low speed for softer fruit, which is softer fruits like your pears, your apples. Um, the harder vegetables or the harder fruit, uh, the, there's a high setting, which is your carrots and the harder um, roots and things like that. So this will do a good job of juicing as well. This is actually the Breville 800 JEXL and it's powerful it's very powerful it does have an industrial motor and it'll last you forever however i was i felt that a lot of the juice was being wasted on the pulp in the back because that i didn't feel like it was doing a good job with getting rid of all the juice from our pulp now we've been searching a lot on the internet and watching youtube videos and even some of the juicers, when the pulp came out, it was dry, very dry, which meant that you got a lot of that product on inside your juice. This one, the pulp is very wet and moist, and so that's why I, we purchased this other one. Now this is a, it's a centrifugal juicer, so it has a little basket in the middle, and it just grinds the fruit and strain it through the basket in the excess gets dropped in the container in the back and you only your juice gets put into your receptacle here. So we just I felt like we were wasting a lot of juice. We were spending a lot of money on fruits, vegetables, and I wanted something that will create, will take more of the juice out of the, the vegetables and the fruit. So then we got this one. This is a masticating um, juicer. And what it does, it has gears and in inside 
that it crushes the the fruit and the vegetable together and then the juice comes out here and the pulp comes out here. Now comparing the pulp from this juicer to this juicer is what we're going to do today and we're going to compare how much we get from this juicer and how much we're going to get from this juicer. So we're already started measuring out the vegetables. So right now we have this. This is one. This is the other one. So we are going to compare these two. So there's equal portion on each of those in each of these cutting mats. Then we're going to cut this one in half and these in half. And we're going to um, compare it. Now you're wondering how do, that, how do we make sure that we have equal parts? Well, we weighed everything. So we use our, our kitchen scale and we weighed this bitch and this bunch so there's equal weight on both of these and we weigh each individual vegetable so that way you make sure we make sure we have the same weight of cabbage as we have over there so we want to compare this one and this one we plan to return this one I predict that this one is going to give us less juice than this one but we'll, we'll see so let's go ahead and get everything started and we'll go ahead and start comparing and for the bravo, you really don't need to cut up your vegetables or your fruit as long as it fit through the chute right there. So if you're going to start it on high, because we do have vegetables in there, we're going to start it on high and you can leave it on high. So we're going to start it now. It is loud. So go ahead. Okay, so I got rid of the audio because I know it was it could be a little annoying. But here you just start with the greens and then you alternate with the soft vegetables. And then the last piece is the carrot so that way you juice everything. Okay, as you can see it produced, there's a lot of, still some pulp in there. But this is what you have. Okay, so now let's go over to the other juicer and this is a masticating juicer. And what it does, it has some gears inside that it will crush the vegetables and the fruit and will extract the juice that way. So we're going to go ahead and test our other, the Green Star Elite. And we're going to test this one out and see how much juice we got out of it. And this is a masticating juicer. So you have, for this one, because the mouth is a, it's kind of smaller, you really need to cut your vegetables and fruit up before you put it through the juicer. And it's much quieter as you're going to know for, um, see in a moment. So you always want to end it with a hard vegetable. So that way it makes sure that you get all the juice down. Now this one you have to push it down. Two set of gears inside the machine that crushes the vegetables and the fruit and that's how it extracts the juice. Now the juice pulls out here, comes out here, the pulp comes out here. And as you know now the pulp is starting to come. It's a lot drier and we'll compare it in a second but if you notice the pulp on this one it's a lot drier than the pulp that you get from your brevel. So the tighter you, you put this knob the more it compressed, the pulp stays compressed inside the gears and more of the juice. You'll get more of the juice. Another thing, unlike the Breville, if you push down hard on the Breville, your gears will come to a halt. They will stop. It will slow down. And that was the problem with the jack lane that when we were putting hard vegetables on it, because it was pressing, we were pressing down, it was actually slowing down the gears and that was the burn smell. On this one, you it, it that's you need to press down that's part how the engineering that you have to press down on the vegetable against the gears and it's fine it's you're not going to damage the machine and price wise this machine is a little more uh, it's costly than the breville but i believe you'll get more juice out of this machine so in the long run if you are doing a, a lot of juicing it actually will pay 
or itself because it, the pulp or all that juice that could have been in your glass is not being thrown down the drain. Or actually, you don't want to throw this stuff down the drain. You may want to create compost, use it for compost for creating a vegetable garden so you can have more vegetables for juicing. So you want to end it. So notice that he puts the tomato on that it's nice. Tomatoes are soft and juicy. You want to end it with a carrot, with a hard vegetable. So that way it will make sure that all the juice is pulled out of the machine. Another thing you can do is you can take the pulp and you can put it back in and get even more juice out of the pulp. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the pulp out of the Breville and we are gonna put it in this machine to see how much more we can get out of, out of from the Breville. So we can see how much we are wasting down the drain if we only had the Breville. Okay, so now let's compare pulp. Okay, so this is the one that came out of the Green Star Elite and you can tell it's very finely grind and it's drier. This one came out of the Breville and as you can see some of the vegetables did not get completely crushed. You have big pieces of cell of um, cabbage. cabbage and big pieces of your cucumber. So this one really everything is just shred to pieces. Now let's go ahead and compare how much juice we get from either one. Okay, so this is the Breville and this is from the Green Star Elite. As you can see, 500 milliliters of juice you get from the Breville, about 500, and then from 500 to about 800, 300 uh, milliliters of foam. So you get that much of foam. Now from the Green Star Elite, there's really no foam as you can see, and you get up to 900 of juice out of the same amount of fruit. So the, same, the, the amount of fruit is exactly the same. You saw we had equal amounts on each of the trays and this is how much you get from the Breville and this is how much you get from the Green Startup Elite. Now we're gonna take the pulp from the Breville and we are going to use the Green Star Elite to see how much juice we can get out of that one. So. We'll come back. So we're going to start juicing the pulp. The pulp is in here in this container. So go ahead and notice how much quieter it is. And we're just feeling, feeding back the pulp. And you can even do it with the pulp that comes out of the Green Star Elite also. If you notice that the pulp is a little dry, um, wetter than you used to, you can always feed it back and it will extract the remainder of the juice from that pulp. So I would say we got maybe a cup and a quarter more out of the um, the Green Star Elite than at, from the leftover or from the discard from the Breville. So I think comparing these two, the um, Green Star Elite is the way to go. Even though it's a little more pricey than the Breville, but it, you will get it in in return from the juice because you don't have to buy that much um, vegetables or fruit to get equal amount of juice um, from from the Breville. So compared to the two, I will, the Green Star Elite is the way to go. And I hope you like this tutorial or this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.